Welcome back to your glamping adventure. This week is all about reinforcing what we've got. So we have our hot tub decks done, our fire pit decks are almost done. We've got one completed, the other we're being working on. Um, and it's all about getting the brackets on, you hear that going right now, and cribbing in between to help shore those up a little bit. Um, we get that done this week, we'll probably, we're gonna be ready for the hot tubs to come in, so we'll put our decking over top, and then we'll probably start clearing up the property. We'll get the excavator going, we'll get a dump trailer, We'll start cleaning things up up front and then get some gravel in and a skid loader and get that road all tuned in and cleaned up. Hey. Septic system is dug and placed along 495 feet of field line. You can see they're laying the last little bit out there. And we've actually got a state vehicle out here now doing the final inspection before we cover it up. It's a big deal. Septic is inspected gonna pass because why wouldn't it and then um, let's get the plumbing set all right we've got our 45s on our deck we've got our brackets on our deck we've got our cribbing on our deck and even though Dana's up there starting to work on the decking I can shake this as much as I want and he's not gonna move at all this thing is solid so we're gonna continue to work on this we're gonna deck this whole thing. We're gonna do the stairs down to the second deck as well. You can see that those are in, the treads are in. And then we are working on getting those all decked out so we can start to enjoy that view. All right, all our decks are reinforced. And now we are decking. Maybe thinking, man, where the heck are your screw heads? Well, we've got a cool system that actually puts them in into the side of the board and then angles it back towards the joist. Super sturdy, not gonna pop up, and when you're walking on it, you can be totally barefoot and never get hung up on a screw head or a splinter or anything like that. It's a little bit more time that we spend on this, but man, the finish is just so much better. A few cool things already happening this week, so we're getting a skid loader tomorrow, which means that we can start tuning in that road in the front where we sunk the trailer into the mud, and just from all the trenching and the rain, the road is super messed up, so we wanna make sure that it is nice, even grade. We, can... we have six weeks till we're set to start having people stay in the dome. October 14th is our first day. We've got people that are looking to come and stay starting in October 14th, so we're six weeks away from that. Here's where we are. Let's just keep on grinding. I think we can do it. I really hope we can do it because that just looks bad. I mean, for your grand opening to have to renege on that just is not good. So we're gonna do it one way or another. Six weeks, we're gonna have this dome ready to stay in. Highway to the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> All right, so it turns out this week we've got a lot of really cool things happening. We got an excavator here on site. We've got a skid loader here on site, which you can see behind me. And we also have a dump trailer. So basically what we're doing is we're cleaning up the whole property, starting at the front, working our way back here to the domes, picking up the barn that we knocked over, picking up a bunch of just rubble, debris, and trees and stuff, and getting into the dump trailer, bringing it back, and dumping it into this giant burn pile. So one day we'll burn it, clean it up, just to make sure everything is tip-top shape. Not only did they give us a skid loader, they gave us a brand new one. This thing has one hour on it. I mean, I've never seen paint in a bucket before. I didn't even know they painted that. And like, look at this thing. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's only got one hour. We're gonna put all the hours on this thing. It's awesome. Tracks with no cracks. Look at how thick them suckers are. Man, I don't think I've ever seen a new one of these. This is nuts. Thank you to our excavator, what used to be a burn pile is now a lovely flat spot of dirt. Thanks for watching. Check back every week for more awesome videos and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, but above all else, have a great day y'all.